The history of golf has been shaped by some legendary figures, players and pioneers whose brilliance out on the course often helped change the game itself. Resident coach Simon Holmes has been looking back at the remarkable careers of some of the greats of the game. Today, he turns his attention to the man with more PGA Tour titles than any other, slamming Sammy Sneed. Sam Sneed was born in 1912, so an era in golf where the technology was still sort of very primitive. It was still hickory shafts, and probably more than anything, that influenced the amazing golf swing that he created. So he learned in West Virginia, you know, fixing old buggy whips, so very, very loose leather whips that he put a club onto. And I think more than anything, that influenced the amazing swing, an amazing weight shift that we see that's still sort of sought after and relevant, even apart uh, for years of David Ledbetter's uh, golf instruction. So if we have a look, first of all, his career, a career that had an enormous span of time, but a career that had more victories than anyone else. 165 victories. Sam Snead won everything, even won a ladies' golf tournament that he was eligible to play in in uh, West Palm Beach in Florida. So Ryder Cups, all of the majors apart from four excruciating losses in the US Open. So the only major that eluded him was that US Open. But in terms of having a look at his swing, he just had this incredible action. So what he was trying to do in those hickory shafts, you know, hickory shaft was, was first of all very flexible this way, but also had a lot of torque. So there was a lot of face twist in the shaft. So you had to build a swing that you could manage with that. So. If we had a look at sort of how he did his swing, kind of like almost very, very soft. So we always used to say, hold the club as sort of as light as you could hold a, a baby bird. And he would have tons and tons of waggles to keep himself in motion, probably trying to feel the flex of that shaft. And then it was all about sort of creating that early set, so sort of like stabilizing the shaft. So if you sort of start from there, Everything else was about trying to sort of keep that weight on that shaft as stable as you could. So his backswing was all about a full turn, that right uh, leg holding him, that left heel coming way off the club there, way off the ground. And then as he reset it, it was this incredible separation of his knees as he got back onto his left side with the club still up there, an amazing unwinding and pressure through. So it was all about balance and rhythm. Now, Sam Sneed is reported to have been the best athlete of his time in the state of West Virginia and by people who would know, not just for golf, baseball, American football, track and field, everything you can think of. So he was, in a sense, like the Cristiano Ronaldo. He was the Michael Jordan, this incredible athlete. And from all of his career, he never had any injuries. So, I mean, if you think about the, what he achieved, head-to-head -head with Ben Hogan, the 54 Masters in a playoff, he beat him by one. So as hard a competition as you could get. And it was very interesting, sort of the position between those two rivals. Hogan was sort of this hard, tough guy, a very fast, snappy swing with hard steel shafts. You know, almost a sense of where Hogan was forcing the club to do what he wanted it to do, where Sam Snead almost had like this dance with the golf club, just a beautiful thing to watch and something that even sort of Jack Nicklaus would admire and aspire to. So for Sam Snead, you know, a simple country boy um, was sort of how he presented himself, but probably one of the best athletes who's ever played golf and his career, his records still stand today.